In the diagram, P, Q, and R are three points in the same horizontal plane. P, Q is, P, R is equal to Q, R. P, R is equal to Q, R, which is equal to M. Oh, okay, so I'm going to put an M over there. Then it says Q, P, R is equal to X, and S, P is perpendicular. So guys, they're telling us that it's perpendicular, so that'll be a 90 degree over here. That's 90 degrees over there. And then the angle of elevation, blah, 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 is Y. For five marks, express the area of P, Q, R in terms of X and M, the area. Okay, so we know that there are two formulas um, that we know for area. The area can either be half base times height, or it could be half A, B, sin of angle C. Those are the two different formulas that we have for area. Now, you can only use this one um, if you have the perpendicular height, which we don't have. We don't have the perpendicular height for this triangle. And so unfortunately, that option is not going to work. Okay, so we can scrap this one out. It's not going to work. And so we are going to have to use half A, B, C, and C. Now, can you guys remember how that formula works? Well, if you have a triangle, and you have an angle, let's say this is A, and this is seven, and this is three, or no, let's say this is 20, okay? Um, then you can say that the area is equal to a half, and then you multiply these two sides together, and then you say sin, of the angle that is in between them. It must always be the angle that is in between them, like that. So, can you see in this triangle um, over here, let me quickly do something for you guys, just give me a second. So you see in this triangle here, so in that triangle there, can you see that we already know the length of these two? So it would be really nice if we could find out this angle over here, because then we can use the sin rule. So it'll be very easy for us to find that angle. The reason is, is that this side is the same as this side. So we know that this angle is also going to be equal to um, x. It's almost like an iso it's an isosceles triangle. Hey, guys. So we can say that angle Q1 is also going to be equal to x, because they are the angles opposite equal sides. So because these two sides are the same, we can say that those two angles must be the same. And so then we can work out angle R1. We can say that angle R1 is 180 minus x minus x. And that's just because of sum of angles in a triangle. And so we can say that angle R1 will be 180 minus 2x. Okay, so now everything is looking good because now we can get the area. We can say that the area will be a half M times M times by the sin of the angle, which is 180 minus 2X. Let's just get that a little bit better. So that'll become a half M squared sin of 180 minus 2X. Now, we need to be able to identify this part over here. And we need to realize that that is something on the cost diagram. You know, on the cost diagram, you get 180 minus. So, for, so what that will turn into is it's just going to be a half m squared sin of 2x. Half m squared sin of 2x. 